I'm Vicki Denoya. I'm a nurse practitioner. I've been a nurse practitioner for 16 years and a registered nurse much longer. My subspecialty is osteoporosis. It's my passion. I have been doing this for 16 years, uh, screening, uh, preventing, uh, evaluating uh, older adults for their risk for fracture and treating and managing that. Osteoporosis is a disease of the bone. It's the most common bone disease. The bones lose their density and their strength, which increases a person's risk for fracture. Currently in this country, more than 54 million people have low bone mass and osteoporosis. However, only 10 million have been diagnosed or evaluated. This is pretty close to what normal bone tissue looks like. You can see it's pretty dense. This is the bone tissue. This is the outer covering of the bone. This model is the beginning of osteoporosis. On the DEXA test, this is a minus 2.6, which is the beginning of osteoporosis. I help patients manage their health by making sure that if they uh, have healthy bones now, we want to make sure they continue to have healthy bones as they age. We want to make sure they are taking enough calcium every day, ideally in their diet. And if they're not getting it in their diet, they may need a supplement. Look at the back of your food labels and see how much calcium you're getting. For men, it's 1,000 milligrams a day. For women, it's between 1,200 and 1,500 milligrams a day. If you're smoking, you really need to stop smoking. Tobacco increases your risk for osteoporosis. Make sure that you have a vitamin D tested periodically. And as you get older, make sure your height is measured. Usually people get their height measured in high school or college and that's it. They never know that they're losing height until, as patients say to me, my pants are getting longer. In January 2017, we opened the Center for Bone Health. At the Bone Health Center, the services we offer here, DEXA screening because the DEXA is the gold standard for screening osteoporosis. It is a full person evaluation. We order lab testing and if there's any indication that they might have a secondary cause of osteoporosis, then we refer either to a rheumatologist or an endocrinologist for further testing and follow-up.